Hello, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a different video. I want to talk about that I got the coronavirus. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not over the symptoms that you get when you have the coronavirus, but I just wanted to talk about my experience so far with having the coronavirus. Um, and I wanted to start from the beginning till how I'm feeling to this day. So I did travel, so big indicator, you know, everyone is saying, TV, radio, internet is saying, do not travel, stay at your house. And I know that some of us, we just got tired and we're like, you know what, I need to take a break. I need to go out and see someone and do something. And like I have, I've been going to, uh, before this, to the mall. I've obviously been grocery shopping. You definitely need groceries. Um, but things that were non-essential were like going to the mall um, and perhaps getting takeout. Um, so then Thanksgiving rolls around and I had scheduled a trip already with my sister to go to California. Uh, all of my family is there in California, Los Angeles, California. And uh, we were going to do just a family gathering there, which of course it's not recommend it and we all know that but you know what again it's the itch of I'm just dying to see a familiar face I'm dying to have another human connection <clears throat> so I fly southwest and uh, my husband and I with my mother flew to Los Angeles to be with our family over there and uh, it was an awesome trip so we got there that very day of Thanksgiving um, surprisingly the the um <coughs> the um airports were not crowded at all they were very roomy the uh planes were like 50 percent full so you really had a lot of room i mean if somebody wanted to sit one every three uh seats you definitely could because there was just so much room um so we had a lot of layover it was like a six hour travel even though it's really like only like an hour and 50 minute travel from el paso to los angeles uh, i did schedule the one-stop trips but somehow southwest changed it twice my itinerary and it went from like two hour trip to like almost a six hour like a whole day trip so from here, from Los Angeles, we ended up uh, going to Houston. We had a layover there and then from Houston all the way to Los Angeles. And then, you know, we met with our family. Uh, we were fine. <clears throat> Enjoyed. I think this was one of the best Thanksgiving holidays I've ever had. Uh, there was no, um, maybe because of what's going around. Uh, with everything, media, uh, politics, non-politics, uh, this coronavirus, um, unemployment and all of that, uh, we were just so happy to be with each other. We had so much fun. We had, uh, God, it was, we talked about old times and uh, uh, just seeing my family was just the greatest gift of all. And I thought, if this was the last holiday of the year, I thought I'm fine with it because it is, it was just the best. We were there only for like two days. Uh, my We stayed at my niece's home and she, her and her husband only have, of course, the weekend off. So we were flying back Saturday. Um, <clears throat> Saturday again was another six hour trip. So from Los Angeles, we flew out of, all the way to Dallas. Dallas, we were there a couple of hours and then Dallas back to El Paso. Um, so then we are in on Sunday. And I believe Sunday the 29th or something I thought it was the last it was the last Sunday of uh, November uh, yeah the 29th so we came back home <coughs> we were feeling fine and still we were even like hey look the neighbors put up Christmas lights we're gonna put up Christmas lights too we went to Lowe's we went to Home Depot we stocked up on lights um things like that we put up the lights I was holding the ladder for my husband I mean we did the whole thing we were feeling awesome we were we were just in high spirits with such a fantastic uh, trip that we just had for Thanksgiving and um it was great and then about Tuesday which was like 
uh, December 1st, my husband was feeling a little sick. And so we figured, you know, he's getting a cold. He was out there. We were out there putting lights on. He was really the one putting lights on. Uh, but I'm the type to where I cannot step on a cold floor or have like a little cold breeze hit me because that's it. My tonsils are swollen. Um, you know, I have to drink hot liquids. I can't breathe. That's just how I am. But my husband is more resilient. Uh, he may or may not wear a jacket. Right now, it's like like a, a little bit of cold, but it's this is his weather because he doesn't necessarily have to wear a jacket. Um, and he feels just fine. So he started feeling a little sick. And also, even that was very weird because my husband is like never ever sick so okay i'm thinking it's allergy it was very windy also that week and um <clears throat> then my husband was like no i i really think i'm coming down with something because he started to feel uh besides sick weak like he wasn't sneezing he started coughing and he started getting like headaches so i'm like okay you know so i said you know stay in bed you know, you know, run it through, uh, watch TV in bed, you know, just take the day off or something. Um, <laughs> um, then the next couple days, which was like on Thursday the 3rd, then I start feeling very sick. And I start feeling sick from like in the morning I'm feeling something. Um to like a full blown, I get migraines. So I do take prescription medication for migraines besides just over the counter extended migraine medication. I do have to get a, a prescribed medication for my migraines. And I woke up with a migraine and I thought, oh, it was because it was windy. I suffer a lot from allergies, so it's the hay fever. Um, and it was just sinus, like you wouldn't believe. It was just like any little tiny beam of light. I thought my head was gonna explode. So I contributed that I'm starting to get sick. Okay, yeah, but it's a migraine headache. It's allergy. So took my took my allergy medicine as well. <clears throat> By that evening, I was in bed. I was knocked out. Like rug slipped from under me, and um, and I'm I'm one of those that also I don't really get sick. Yeah, I get my soul my throat gets swollen and a little breeze i drink a hot liquid i love coffee i'm always drinking coffee and it goes away so i know that it's just that and it's not something more than just like a sore throat but that night i figure um it was more of a restless night and even then we figured you know what it's because it's very windy and you know we were outside putting lights on so then the next day um it just hits you like a ton of bricks. My, For my husband and I to still be in bed, I could be in bed till noon, honestly. I'm very lazy. Um, but my husband, to be in bed by 8 a.m., something is wrong. So we were in bed still. We were just feeling awful. We didn't have like flu symptoms though it was just a very big headache i didn't have a runny nose i was having a cough but again contributing it to my allergies and i told my husband maybe you're just coming down more with allergies we're getting older blah 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 um and so he's like let's just get checked let's just get checked for the virus and i'm like no we don't have it you know we've gone through the whole year almost and we've made it okay um so in the next couple of days we took the test and we were shocked that we were positive for the coronavirus i mean i'm like no it can't be they got it wrong but the days after that was horrible um i'm lucky to say though that it wasn't as bad to where i felt that i was gonna get you know admitted hospitalized but i do have asthma and I just felt that I could not breathe for the life of me. I was taking puffs of, of my inhaler. I have one of these in every room now um, constantly. And I felt like even when I breathed in, I felt like if was I getting pneumonia or what what's going on? <clears throat> but then it would like get better. But then again at night it would get worse. And then maybe during the day it would get better. So it was like that. My uh, sense of smell 
gone. Taste, gone. Um, I think I lost about five pounds and I really want to say it's because when you eat something, it's like if you're just you know what you're eating, but you can't taste it, so it's just not the same. You don't savor it the same. Um, and, and I was not hungry at all, too. Um, because my husband got sick first, and he just bounced back a lot faster than what I did. He made a stew, and, you know, he was bringing me breakfast in bed, you know, lunch and dinner. And I was like, I'm just taking your word for it that these are eggs because I... They do not taste like anything. They do not smell like anything. Um, and that's just how it was for like a solid seven days. And um, and in the meantime, I remember just going in and out. Like uh, I had set an appointment because I really <clears throat> wanted to uh, have first dibs on some makeup. Okay, that's just how um, how uh, I pr prioritize my life here. Okay, uh, so I had set a... a an alarm on my phone because there was ColourPop was going to sell uh, a collaboration with Hello Kitty and I said I, I need to have this collection and so I set an alarm in on my phone to be able to for me to wake up I order it and I'm back you know snoring or whatever that's what I did and yes I'm ashamed of that doing that but I mean what else do I do I would get bursts of energy sometimes that I felt like oh I could like actually exercise today I can go for a run but at the end of the day it would be again like if you're wearing like the heaviest clothes like your muscles are hurting and everything and then everything just goes downhill again um that was my experience and really within the seven days and still now I'm still feeling that I'm sick like if I were to go out I feel like oh I just need to go back to bed and just rest like I'm overdoing it um it 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 was just it was just weird i felt like i was never going to get better in my life again you just start feeling like are you ever going to be able to get up out of bed and 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 want to feel the sunshine um or just get out of bed not just because you need to go to the bathroom and back um <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately my mother the same we were not in in constant communication but at least my brother was there to take her food and things like that my mother does live alone and at least she was being taken care of that way. My husband, because he bounced back a lot quicker, he was taking care of me. Um, so because you did, we did test it positive. The city of El Paso did uh, contact us. Um, I did not speak to them. My husband did. I, I just had no tolerance for uh, speaking to someone. I had no. I felt like I had no resolution. I felt like you know what if. It, it, it involved critical thinking. I just didn't want to do it. So I would just give the phone to my husband um, if my cell phone were to ring. And uh, basically, they just said that after about seven days or more, um, you shouldn't be uh, contagious anymore. And then just try to go out only if you need to, like essentials, like going for the groceries. And so we go to Walmart for groceries but they also send you like a like a food box which I thought was very nice of the city of El Paso and I thank you guys very much um so they sent at least some essential uh food items and um and I'm very grateful for that and especially the people that were a lot worse I thought I was gonna die and it wasn't as bad as what some people are I mean if some people are getting admitted and have it a lot worse I only have asthma I have still a hard time breathing sometimes uh, I need my inhaler I still have to blow my nose and I cough um, but I know that some people go in the hospital and they're still there and so I do feel for all of you guys this is really not a joke and I didn't take it as seriously as what I should have been taking it serious I mean I'm over here telling you guys stay safe during this pandemic and and boom it hits me so as far as my family my daughter has gotten the virus um my mother my husband my brother has not my son has not um but my family in California on my husband's side of the family pretty much half of them have gotten the virus and uh, so far, my family in California, on, on my side at least, none of them have. So I'm thankful for that. Um, but 
you know what i if when this vaccine does come um i recommend that you get it only because i always get the flu shot i don't have issues with taking the flu shot i take the flu shot every year i also take the pneumonia shot when i'm required to um you know and whatever else the doctor thinks that i need to take or i'm due for the shot uh, but the flu shot is an annual thing for me that is like one of the things it's a must that i will take and if uh, whenever they do offer the coronavirus shot, I will take it. And I know right now there's a lot of uh, uh, people are scared and they don't know, you know, has it been tested? Have they tested it long enough for the long-term effects? Which, of course, we're not going to know because this is still a new uh, vaccine. We don't know what the long-term effects are going to be. But if it's going to prevent me from feeling the way I did those seven days, sign me up because... I do not ever, 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 ever want to feel like that again. <clears throat> My husband did ask me one day when I was really sick and he said, you know what? I think I need to take you to the hospital because you have a fever. I think I had a fever like in the a hundred and a hundred point like nine or something like that. To me, that wasn't a fever, but to him it was like, let's go take you to the hospital. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. If tomorrow I still have the fever, then let's go. Uh, but I didn't, thank God. Um, but again, a lot of people get it so, so much worse to me, perhaps was a cakewalk compared to some people that are almost close to, to dying. And of course the people that have died, I mean, it, it's, it's very serious. I, I do want to apologize for my family for scaring them for a lot of my friends and family, uh, you know, for, for scaring them and for getting it and for not taking care of myself. Um, please use me as an example that this is real. This it, It's a terrible, terrible flu. It's not like the regular flu. It is awful, awful, awful. So um, I will take the, the vaccine if whenever it does become available. Um, I just rather go through that. Um, hopefully I won't grow another head. Like there's a lot of jokes going around right now. You're growing a lot, another limb and things like that, or you're turning into like a, like a dinosaur kind of thing, like a lizard, like whatever. Um, I will still take it because I do not want to feel like I did. So please take care of yourself and please use me as an example. Um, I thought I was being careful. I have my sanitizing spray. My husband has his sanitizing spray. When we go out, we constantly wash our cloth um face masks and whenever we touch something right away we're spraying each other but it got us it got us rather if we got it at the airport um or we got it here in El Paso the point is is that it got us and it's getting a lot more people and because people are getting more laxed about you know what <clears throat> I'm tired of being enclosed I want to get the heck out of here and 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 you know enjoy the sun be not be indoors anymore um please think it over please 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 really really think it over because um or at least until everyone gets a vaccine because it's no joke guys so um i at least want to give you that warning and i really wanted to share that with you um so again at night i do take my inhaler <coughs> a couple times um use my nose spray and um i try you know the humidifier little herbal uh things to help me breathe um and again i still wake up feeling like uh, i don't think i want to wake up today but then during the day i feel i get that spurt of energy and i'm like cool i want to get up so i kind of took advantage of that and i said you know what i need to i want to make a video i hadn't make made a video in at least a couple of weeks so um i i hope that you don't take this video to heart to scare you, but take it to heart as far as education wise. Um, and if you have any questions about how I felt and other symptoms perhaps that I might have gone through that maybe one of your family members or maybe you're feeling that you may not know me, maybe you do have the virus or not, let me know. I will definitely try to answer all of your questions. One of the things that I saw was uh, my taste and my sense of smell did not come back to like after the eighth day. I was able to actually smell, and it was cookies of, out of all things. I should be eating a lot of nutritious stuff to get better. I ate an Oreo cookie, but I smelt it and I could barely, barely smell the sweetness of the cookie. So I knew that my smell 
was coming back and then slowly my sense of taste started to to come back as well and now i'm full blown i can taste and smell everything now so but um please take care of yourself and um you know if you have any questions let me know and i hope that you're safe i hope that your family is safe use your mask carry your sanitizer with you use it religiously carry it with you um your you know everywhere have it in every room if you have to and of course in your vehicle and only go out if you need to don't be like abby and go out to another state because you want to enjoy uh thanksgiving but still i am so thankful to god that my mother is well I'm thankful to God that my husband is well and that I am well and that also my daughter. My daughter ended up getting sick about a month and a half ago, so I definitely didn't get sick from her. But I'm going to see her uh, uh, for the first time since she got sick in um, for Christmas. Um, and we figured, you know what, um, I am going to take the coronavirus again just to make sure that I don't have it so it can be in the clear so that for next week for Christmas, we could at least see each other just a little temporary. And I know that we're not contagious and we're not going to get any, you know, we're not going to be getting each other sick and, you know, and then, you know, see, see each other till the following year. But again, I feel for the ones that has had it, for the ones that has had it a lot worse, and of course, for the ones that even has lost loved ones because of this, um, I feel for you guys. Um, so please, uh, please take this virus very seriously. And uh, again, if you have any questions for me, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And again, thank you. I didn't let a lot of people know, but uh, for the ones that I did and wished me well, uh, I am very grateful for your well wishes. So this is my video and i hope that you enjoyed this video and again uh, please stay safe during this pandemic and i hope you have a great day great christmas uh safe new year so hopefully we would have a better 2021 let's let's hope for that so be careful guys see you soon